We're going to Disney World and a Disney cruise on the Disney Wish, courtesy of Disney. <laughs> oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> hadn't heard the good news yet I was invited by Disney to go on this year's Disney creator celebration and what that is is it's a gathering of this year it's gonna be 71 different content creators and it's gonna be at Disney World obviously last year it was at Disneyland and then they went on a cruise to Mexico this year we're gonna be doing four days at Disney World and then going on the Disney Wish and I've never done a Disney cruise before and actually I've never really spent too much I've I've, I've spent like two hours at at Animal Kingdom and then I have only walked into the entrance of Hollywood Studios and did nothing else uh, the last time I was on a trip with Disney and Undercover Tourist. So I'm actually gonna be going to two of the parks that I've never been to before and going on the Disney Wish, which is brand new to me. I have to tell you, when I got that email from Disney saying that we were invited, I was like pacing. I was pacing back and forth <laughs> because I was like, I have so much energy. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was like so excited that like I couldn't, I like, I just, I. I was like, I don't even know what to do with all this energy that I that I have. It was very exciting news. So thank you, Disney. I cannot wait to go on this trip. I start making content for this trip starting on February 25th and then ending on March 4th. That's when we get off of our cruise. So definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. By the way, if you don't know me already, my name is Kayla Freitas. I am a fantasy travel and fashion content creator with a heavy Disney influence. So if you like any of those things, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications to get notified every time I do an upload and especially pay attention to the next couple weeks because I'm going to be uploading every day from this trip, including all of the exclusive content we're able to get and behind the scenes and walking onto the rides and how Disney treats you because they treat you amazing. I mean, you guys are just going to be blown away. It's, it's truly incredible and I cannot wait to share this with you guys. So if you like that sort of thing, you want to see what a Disney content creator trip looks like, definitely hit that follow button, hit that like, and let me know where you're joining from in the comments. Uh, comment below and tell me where you're from because I love to see where everyone's from. It's so amazing how YouTube and social media brings us all together. And I'm really excited to have you guys come on this trip with me. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you already know that I am extremely extra. And since we're gonna be doing four days at the park and then three days on the Disney Wish, I'm gonna have to pack a lot because especially because I'm gonna be like really sweaty because I'm not used to Florida weather. So this is gonna be a challenge. <laughs> to say the least. And two, because my dresses are so poofy, this is gonna be interesting. I'm also the queen of overpacking, so <laughs> we shall see. I also like to bring my popcorn buckets and my jewelry and my puffy dresses and my shoes. And Disney said, be sure to leave room in your suitcase because we're gonna be giving you a lot of stuff. Definitely gonna do that. So <laughs> I have to be good about packing. Everyone always wants a wardrobe tour. So this is gonna be a little one for you guys. And yes, I do keep this locked. And yes, this key is actually to open. This is my super extra, super amazing wardrobe. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is a fun little play suit and it might be good for like a relaxing sort of outfit. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, maybe this one? Okay, this will be a nice little chill outfit. Maybe for like an in-between time. It's just a cotton dress, really comfy. So maybe this one. Ooh, this is another one of those that might just be really comfy cozy and it matches summer. So maybe this one too. Hmm, maybe. By the way, everything will be linked in the description below that I do have links for. So worry not, my friends. I have this dress in two different colors. You might recognize this from my cottage core bell from my Disney princesses, but make them cottage core series. I just got it in the pink. So, but the thing is, is that I love the yellow so much. And Summer has a matching dress, my daughter, and Koa has, a, they have a matching shirt for this one now too. So, uh, I'll think about this yellow one. Are you guys tired of seeing this dress yet? <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know, but the pink is so beautiful and I've not really worn it for much, but I think I'm going to have some other pink dresses. So maybe I'll, maybe I won't pack this one for now. Mm, this one's pretty. No, very windy though, isn't it? Uh, no, these are night clothes. Oh, this dress I used for my cottage core aerial dress. I threw a corset over the top of it and now, <gasps> I have it in pink. So maybe I'll do this dress. <gasps> oh, maybe we could do kind of like an enchanted look. <gasps> oh yeah, I could totally be Giselle. <gasps> or even Aurora, maybe, kind of. Here, let me show you it. Okay, so here is this dress. It's got so many beautiful layers. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's so gorgeous. And it's like really, really comfy, actually. I just loved it in the blue so much. I don't know, do I like blue or pink better? Oh, this is hard. I've worn the blue so many times. Maybe I should make some content in the new pink one that I have. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'll put it in the maybe pile for now. Oh boy, this maybe pile is getting big already. All right, and I also, oh, this one. Oh, with the big bow. It's very much like that one from Love Shack Fancy. It fits me so well too, and it's got this pretty little cut. So here's this one. That could be like a fun evening at Magic Kingdom sort of dress, or, oh, like Hollywood Studios. Oh, I love this dress. And I've not worn it for anything yet. I love the bow on the back. I'm definitely gonna have to bring a steamer. Oh, you can't bring steamers on the Disney cruise line. So got to remember not to bring a steamer, but I'll just have to iron it. Ooh, I just love this bow. Wow. 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 All right. Another maybe. <laughs> oh, this one. <gasps> okay. So this is the Mia dress and I have this in several colors. I have this in pink as well. Where's my pink? Okay. Here's the pink. This dress is so underrated. So underrated. I never see anybody wearing this dress and I don't understand why, because it's so gorgeous. And every time I wear the blue one or the pink one, people literally break their necks, not literally, but figuratively, <laughs> figuratively break their necks to turn and look at me in this dress. Like people, I get stopped like literally every five minutes and like almost every other person will like turn and look at me in this dress and just be like, wow. This dress gets so many compliments and so many looks. I don't think I've ever gotten any more, like more than I did wearing this dress or wearing this dress or even in, in the white. Cause I used to, I have the one in the white but I don't really wear it as much cause I really prefer this pink and this blue. The pink is new and I love the pink, but the blue, it's just so Cinderella. And I feel so beautiful in the blue, especially because it just kind of goes with my eyes a little more. What do you guys think? Make it pink or make it blue? Oh, I'm in the same conundrum as I am with, with this dress. <laughs> oh my goodness. Life's tough choices, am I right? <laughs> Adding them both to the maybe pile. Oh my gosh, this is quite the pile already. Okay, this one is coming for sure. 100% this one is going. This one is so pretty. <gasps> when I first like looked at it on the rack, I was kind of like unimpressed, but when I put it on, it just fits so beautifully and it's so poofy. It's a little bit shorter than I would normally go for, but I think it's perfect for, I don't know, Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot or even Magic Kingdom. So let me know your thoughts on this. I feel like it's a really good Rapunzel bound, even though it's pink because it does have like the purple accents. I don't know. It's so pretty. I, this one's for sure. This one's going for sure. Okay, let's see if there are any others in here that I want to take. No. Okay, let's check my office wardrobe. I also have a dress rack in my office. From my office, I'm also thinking about some of these dresses. I actually do wear these dresses. They're not just for decoration. So I wore this one to Disney World the last time I went for obvious reasons. I mean, this dress is just, oh, 
I mean, look at this dress. This is the most perfect Disney dress. I wore this uh, when I was invited to the grand opening of Toontown, and I also wore it when I was invited by Disney and Undercover Tourist when I went to Disney World this last time. I love this dress. It is a lot, it's a lot of dress. It's got a lot of tulle, it's very big, and it's so heavy because of the sequins but it's like, oh, it's amazing. Like this in Magic Kingdom, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a possibility, but I have taken a bunch of photos in this and I have some new dresses, so I might wait for the next round of Disney trips uh, to wear this one again, but we'll see. This one I wore to last year's Flower and Garden Festival. This one is so beautiful. I have lost some weight though, so it's a little big on me. And just so you know, I will link everything in the description if it's available, and this one definitely is. <sighs> this dress is just a uh, masterpiece. It's just a little big for me, so I think I won't take this one for Flower and Garden at Epcot this year, but I would like to repurchase this in the size that now fits me. For this particular dress, by the way, and this style of dress where it has like this style of top with the big poofy skirt, I personally size down. I think that they're, they run a little bit big. So just a pro tip if you did want to get a dress like this. Mm, no. Oh, mm, Cinderella, maybe Cottagecore Cinderella. Uh, Selkie, we'll skip that one for now. Oh, oh, ooh la la. This is my newest fairy tong dress. This is fairy tong, by the way, that I wore um, at the grand opening of Toontown. This is fairy tong, but this is my newest fairy tong. And it is very Aurora. And since you guys say all the time that my bangs look like Aurora, this one might be fitting. Huh? I think this, I think we gotta take this one. I think we need to have an Aurora moment. I'm thinking this is definitely for sure, but I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile for now. Bloop. Okay, the Mia dress, love this dress. I have it in four colors. I'm gonna take this dress, but I'm not gonna take the cream color. This Selkie dress, on the other hand, hmm, well, I did just wear this to Disneyland as a fairy godmother, so I'm not so sure that I want to pack it again. Maybe, maybe on this one. It would be a really cute Magic Kingdom dress. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, yes. All right, this is one of my favorites. This is the carousel dress or the carriage dress. It's a carousel, carriage. I think it's carriage dress. This one is so Cinderella. <laughs> I love this dress so much. Again, size down. This is the same style of dress. Size down, personally, I would anyways. That's up to you. I like it a little bit more snug. It gives a more hourglass shape. But this one is so Cinderella. This one I need to wear in Magic Kingdom. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I gotta pack my blingy Mickey ears with this. Yes. I wore this outfit to Dapper Day, but I didn't take too many pictures and I'm thinking we need to run that back and wear the same outfit. Okay, you're going. Uh, I wore this one last time, but I'm not gonna wear it this time. No, mm, no, too long. Ooh, this one is really beautiful. I might wear this. I mean, it's been a while. Maybe I'll wait for spring. And this one doesn't fit me anymore. It's just for decoration now, la la. I'm also gonna take this vintage hat that I got in an estate sale. I'm definitely going to need a hat while I'm there because I am so pasty white. Let's be honest. Uh, ooh, all right. I'm only gonna bring one backpack. I like to carry a backpack and a Tokyo Disney popcorn bucket. These are the four that are my favorite that I like to bring. This one doesn't light up, but these three do, and they look amazing at night at the parks. These are the ones I like to bring the most off, and I just think this one is like so cute. Are you kidding me? Why does Tokyo Disney have the best popcorn buckets? I am popcorn bucket queen, so gotta bring my popcorn buckets. <laughs> Starting off with my for sure dresses, this one, the carousel or carriage dress, this one is for sure, and this is gonna be like a Cinderella type dress. So I'm thinking my bling, Diamond Dolls bling ears. By the way, uh, Arlene from Diamond Dolls, she is actually a friend of mine. She's also gonna send me her amazing blinged out conductor hats. <gasps> 
So let me know if you think those would go with any of these dresses. She's gonna send me one that says Disney World. It's like a silver one, like this one. Okay, so let me show you with the jewelry I'm thinking for this outfit. This one's gonna be very Cinderella and I'm trying to bling bling out of this world. So I also got my hidden Mickey diamond dolls necklace, these beautiful earrings that are from Bijou Limon. Look at those things. <gasps> Ooh, I'm losing sunlight, so you can't really tell how they sparkle. But when I wear this outfit, I mean, you can see me from outer space. <laughs> so got that. And I also got the matching bracelet. So we're going to be blinging. So that's what I'm thinking for Magic Kingdom. How about, since it is blue, I can either go with Minnie Mouse or Frozen? Mm, no, no, nope, nope. Yes. Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. Outfit number two, my fairy tongue dress. I don't even know where I'm gonna wear this. Maybe Flower Garden Festival, Epcot, maybe Magic Kingdom. It's definitely gonna give me an Aurora vibe. So, I'm thinking Elsa or now maybe Minnie again no wait mm, no I like Elsa I think we're gonna go with Elsa for this one I don't want to pack too many popcorn buckets I can find one that would match exactly but I think we're gonna do Elsa Elsa for this one I'm also gonna pack this necklace with it uh it's my Cinderella from Two Park Princess and it like rotates so I think this would be a cute little necklace to go with this outfit something simple not to take away from the dress Ooh, or this locket, which is very pretty. Oh, I kind of like this. I kind of like that. Okay, outfit number two. Outfit number four. This is going to be very Rapunzel, punzy, if you will, based. So I'm going to go with my Rapunzel popcorn bucket with a little Pascal on it. So cute. Let's see. <gasps> Perfection. I love it. Look at the other side. <gasps> so cute. Let's see it light up. Hopefully this one's not dead. <gasps> oh, it's not, but you can't see it light up because it's still too light out. Okay. Okay, these are the perfect jewelry. Um, I got these beautiful preserved roses. This is a choker. So uh, it, even the color is like perfect. And these preserved rose earrings as well. These are from a brand called Emini London. So I will link those for you if you wanna see them. But I think this is the perfect uh, jewelry. So I think we're good. I think this is outfit number three. Now I gotta make my decision about the Mia dress. Do I want to take it in the blue or do I wanna take it in the pink? Oh, it's such a tough decision, but I think the blue because it's very Cinderella and I love Cinderella. I'm thinking also to go with the locket for this one or I might do the blingy diamond dolls necklace and bracelet. I I I'll make my decision when I get to the park or to the hotel room and like try it on, but I'm gonna take both of these pieces anyways, so we'll decide then. Let me know what you think. Um, the big chunky like see you from outer space jewelry or a little more subtle, but still like I will see you from like outer space as well. <laughs> what I do know is um, I will be wearing this cap. So maybe I'll wear the diamond dolls bling. We'll see, we'll see. So here's outfit number, what, what outfit are we on already? Four? Outfit number four. I know part of the time we're gonna spend in Disney Springs, this would kind of be a fun Disney Springs dress. No, I think so. I'll pack this one and we'll just see if I use it. I think it's gotta be Minnie. Uh, yes, Minnie Mouse. Oh my gosh, so cute. When I'm gonna have a parasol and this mini Tokyo Disney popcorn bucket and my Diamond Dolls doll collection jewelry would go perfect. <gasps> I love, I love, love, love. If you haven't noticed, I like to bling and I like people to see me from 10 miles away. <laughs> so this necklace and the matching bracelet and these Gorgina earrings, which I love so much. They're so Barbie doll. And here's outfit number five. 
I've decided to go with the pink, I think, instead of the blue. And for this outfit, I think this will be a really good castaway key outfit because we're going to the Bahamas. And I don't really know if I'm gonna swim. We'll see. Actually, I can't swim because of my hair extensions. <laughs> so I can dip my toes. I think I'll get this one and this will just take my backpack, which also is a purse. So you can like take off the straps and make it a purse instead. So I'll use this with both these outfits and these are gonna be a more simple type outfit and I can match it with my kids. So this is outfit number, what, six and seven? And I think we are done. And just in case I wear this like mixed color outfits, I'm gonna bring my pastel diamond dolls um, necklace to be very colorful. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot that I needed to pack my princess athletic wear. Okay, so we also have a sunrise yoga session in front of the Tree of Life at Animal Kingdom on I think the second day. So, and I also need some like lounge wear. So I'm gonna bring, I've decided I'm gonna take my Rapunzel outfit with the yoga pants and the jacket because it's one of the few that I have like the jacket for. I also have the scrunchie and the hat. So this is like the complete outfit. So I'm gonna take this one. Also wanna take Cinderella because she's my girl. Um, I am gonna take the skirt and the yoga pants and the sports bra. I'm also gonna take the hat and the scrunchie and then I have two shirts. So I have this shirt and then I have this one. <gasps> this one's like my all time favorite. Look how pretty this one is. Oh, I love this little mesh detail on the front with the collar. Okay. So I'm definitely taking this one. Just need some like lounge wear, you know, but I definitely want to make it Disney. So also going to take both the skirt. By the way, this skirt, these skirts are so awesome. Also, before we continue, I do have a discount code if you guys want to out order from Crown Athletics. These are from Crown Athletics. So I'll put the uh, discount code for you right here for 20% off your order. They are amazing. They are more on the higher end, kind of like a Lululemon sort of price, but trust me, they are extremely worth it. They are so, so nice. I guarantee that if you buy a pair of these, you're just gonna love them and you're gonna be so addicted. Um, it actually makes me wanna work out, so, <laughs> so I love having them. Anyways, I'm also gonna bring uh, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. I'm gonna bring the skirt, which has the shorts in it. I really love the skirts. They are my favorite and I didn't think I would love them so that was a pleasant surprise. I'm gonna bring the scrunchie, also gonna bring the yoga pants and this top. Look at this how cute this is. I have it in blue also so they have this set in blue and in pink. Oh this is not the right bra or is it the right bra? Oh yeah yeah it is the right bra. <laughs> so and then I also got my little sports bra so I'm gonna bring that as well. I think three sets would be good. I might also bring Elsa because I have a jacket for Elsa too. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh I feel so beautiful wearing these <laughs> like I've never felt like so pretty working out but oh my gosh so these are coming with me and here we go all right we are all packed up and ready to go to Disney World and the Disney Cruise oh. <gasps> I lost a stone oh my gosh I will be uploading every single day that I spend on this trip on YouTube. So if you want to see the full length video, definitely stay tuned for that and turn on notifications. Also comment below what your favorite Disney park is. I would love to know. And if you have any tips about Disney World, if you're a Disney World expert, let me know. I would love to know your tips, best food, best places to go, whatever it is. Let me know in the comments. And until next time, bye. <laughs>